Hello there, welcome back to my uh, channel. So in today's uh, video, I will be doing a review of the new Huda Beauty Rose Quartz collection. So I have the main uh, thing, which is the Rose Quartz palette, but uh, my fiance also got me the Rose Quartz uh, highlighter or face gloss. Uh, so I have tried both on camera and I will be giving you my review and also an eye look the eye look that I'm wearing right now but also I have swatches of the full collection so if you're interested in seeing what I think about this collection and how everything works then just keep on watching okay so first I am actually going to talk about the rose quartz uh, face gloss so this one is in the shade quartz glow now I if I were to get uh, something from this collection it would probably only be the palette because I wasn't interested in it so my boyfriend did the, get the whole collection for me and this was a uh, surprise and it was a surprise in the sense of the product itself that I have it but also it is a surprise that I like it because she has something similar in her uh, in this palette but also in her naughty nude palette where there was some pigments kind of uh, encapsulated in a gel uh, that you can use on your eyes on or on your face and you know to be honest I myself wasn't a fan of it because I have hooded eyes and uh, it's just something that would not work for me because it would just crease straight away however with this being let's say specifically something for the face and with the shade being what it is I'm very surprised to say that I freaking enjoy it it is so beautiful on the skin you kind of just oh, I use my finger you kind of just mix around in the gel mix it with the uh, pigment particles and this is what it looks like and then I just use my finger and apply it on top of my skin and it looks so so gorgeous it looks very natural the color itself is very beautiful because it suits my skin tone it's not too light okay a courier came to our house and I got distracted unfortunately it wasn't a, a package for me it was for the neighbors so I forgot <laughs> what I was on about um, from what I remember, I said that it just looks so natural on the skin because of the color that it is itself. It's a very kind of beigey color and it just blends into the skin really well. Now, you do have to be careful because it's not a, a product that sets down. Usually liquid highlighters or, you know, highlighter bombs or cream highlighters, they usually set down on your skin. This, however, will stay tacky. All of the time so I you know if you don't want it to stick to your face I do recommending I do recommend setting it either with a translucent powder or with another highlighter if you use a translucent powder which I uh, set my whole face including that area uh, you can still see the shine you can still see the pigment you can still see the glow but it's not sticky anymore which is super weird it's just, it's just different for a highlighter because usually if I were to put a powder on top of it the glow would kind of disappear but not with this and then also on top of it I did use a little bit of a powder highlight to intensify the glow a little bit so I was 100% surprised by how and I'm losing I'm out of breath <laughs> by uh, how much I do enjoy using this product and by how it just looks on my skin like I said if I were to you know um, I wouldn't pick it up for myself because it, I don't think it would have been a product that I would enjoy however I was wrong I do freaking enjoy this face glass so so much and the color specifically is it very good for someone um my skin tone uh if you were lighter i don't think it would look very nice on you if you were darker then i think it would really lovely on you as well but anything lighter than me i don't think it would uh work and i'm pale as it is anyway so you know i don't think there would be many people that are paler than me so again very 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 excited for this and I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do it's just a beautiful beautiful face gloss that I for sure will be using uh, much more often than I would have 
that. And now for the start of the show, which is the Rose Quartz palette. I am loving this packaging. Uh, you don't see Huda's face on it. I think she stopped doing that uh, since not in nude. Uh, it's just a beautiful quartz sort of texture. Uh, the writing on it is a little bit raised. It has something to it. It's a very re reflective, beautiful for uh, pictures. So the overall packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It comes in a plastic um, packaging, which again, I think makes it a little bit more on the luxurious side, uh, which I personally love. And then you open up the palette and this is what you get now it is a rosy sort of palette now it leans a little bit more on the cool tone side which is a little bit unusual for huda usually she kind of put she puts pinks in her palettes a lot but she usually kind of um, makes it a little bit warmer so i think this is a a new thing for her with this being so cool tone like the only um uh, kind of warm toned shades are these three on top which again makes it an even more versatile palette because you can do your uh, warm brown shade uh, looks you can then go into the cool tones around here you can do your rosy uh, eye looks and also you can do a purpley look like i did uh, today so it is like i said a very versatile palette uh there is, from what I can see on the back, uh, there is eight velvety, soft and intense mats, and the mats are Aura, Gratitude, Precious, Cherished, Happiness, Mantra, Serenity and Radiate. Uh, then we have three high shine buttery metallics. These would be empowered, if I can hold this, empowered joy and uh, abundance right then we have three pearly soft shine metallics which then would be cosmic love blissful and probably energized right and then she has three quartz inspired cream marbles which would be cosmic love self-love and quartz and then she has one crushed stone pearly hybrid, which is love stone. So you get a lot of variety when it, in terms of the actual formulas. Now, I myself have tried almost every shade from this palette except for the warm tones. So I haven't used Aura, Gratitude, Energized. I haven't used Abundance, but and love stone because it is that glossy kind of shade that i can't use on my eyes i can use on my face but i have this now so i'm not going to be touching that i don't think so i haven't used four shades out of this uh, palette the rest i have i've done a few looks uh, i've done this look and another look which i will post a picture up here so that you can see and uh let me tell you i have enjoyed using this palette now i am in love with the dual chromes i'm in love with cosmic love blissful moon magic self-love and quartz they are beautiful dual chrome shades that do not really have much of a, a kind of under pigment however if you put a light wash of a matte color for example and then put this on top it just creates a um uh, divine kind of multi-dimensional look on your eyes today i'm wearing blissful and i am wearing self-love on my lid and i don't know if you'll be able to see but it just creates the most beautiful kind of very sparkly very shiny very kind of multi-dimensional uh look on your eyes uh there is fallout not with the mats the mats are fairly um tightly pressed so you do not get a lot of uh, kickback from the mats however the shimmers especially like these marbles or these dual chromes mm, i would say all of the shimmers they do have fallout you would have seen uh i probably have an overlay of my eye look going on right now you would have you will be you will see that there is a ton of fallout underneath my eyes so i would recommend uh using either a uh, setting powder underneath your eyes that you can kind of you know wipe away or doing your eyes first before you do your face because it will mess up your makeup 
it's hard to get rid of that fallout because of how those metallics uh, are formulated they just stick to the skin they're very creamy they they must have some sort of i don't know maybe an adhesive an oil or something because they literally just stick to your eyes and uh which means that they will stick to your face and will be hard, hard to get out. So have some sort of uh, protection underneath your eyes uh, to prevent the fallout um, kind of destroying your base makeup. Um, what else can I say about this palette? Um, you know, it has a mirror. Obviously, I have used this mirror today to do my makeup. It is absolutely uh, beautiful. Uh, for the eye look today, I used, um, Papa, what did I use? I used Radiate in my uh, transition area. Then I used Precious in my crease and on my outer corner. Then I went in with Blissful for my outer corner. I went in with uh, Self Love for the inner corner or the inner half of my eyelid. I used Empowered on my lower lash line and then I used Happiness to blend out my lower lash line. Um, and for my inner corner, I used my uh, Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlight because there isn't, well, there is, you could use a little bit of that shade over here as your inner corner highlight, but you would have to have a very precise uh, brush to make that work. So I just used my own. Uh, Oh, and I use Mantra for the little smudgy wing that you see on my eyes. So, yeah, I have used a lot of shades today just to test it out. Uh, I know the Huda formula and I know how it works. I myself really love it. I have loved it since the beginning. Uh, my first palette was the Desert Dusk palette. And I just continue to purchase these big ones once a year because I know the quality will never Ever disappoint me it's probably different with the small ones I only have two of those small palettes I do enjoy them but I don't think the quality or I don't think she puts as much love as much effort into creating uh, the small palettes that she does uh, to the big ones so overall I am not disappointed I am very kind of pleased with the eye look I created today and the day before and yeah it just looks beautiful I myself am loving it and yeah this will be a freaking flyer in my let's say rotation because I do enjoy the looks that I have already created for from using it they're kind of soft whimsical pastel they're kind of you know just very girly if that's you know the word that i can use for for lack of a better word it's just very kind of feminine and girly and just light you know i do really enjoy it and i would highly recommend you getting this palette if you do not own sh similar shades like this uh, i mean the mattes are like i said her standard formula but the star of the show for this palette are the metallics because they are absolutely stunning like they're Pat McGrath sort of uh, metallic shades with the shift that they give and with the kind of uh, beautiful foilness that they create on the eyes. Uh, for half of the price, you get probably the same quality because I have a, a Pat McGrath palette. I enjoy it, but I just put a, these big palettes have a special place in my heart. So. I guess now that I have finished my review, it is time to uh, show you the swatches of the whole palette. today's video i hope you enjoyed my review um 
I always say truthfully what I think about these palettes because they do cost a lot of money. They're about 67 euro and you know, for 67 euro, you probably have a week's worth of groceries. So that's why I want to be uh, truthful in my reviews. Although, like I said, I do love Huda. If I find that something is not great with this palette, I will mention it to you like the Fallout and this glossy shade, useless for me. Uh, but overall, this palette, I think, is the best palette that she had created uh, ever. I think it is going to dethrone the Desert Dusk palette because of how beautiful all of these shades work and how beautiful they just uh, look. But like I said, that is it for today's video. Mango! That is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel for more videos uh, like this. But uh, that is it. Let me know in the comments down below if you are deciding or if you are thinking of picking up this uh, palette. Let me know what's stopping you. Uh, maybe I will be able to push you in the right uh, direction. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.